Hi, and welcome back to the channel. We are continuing The Expanse. This is season three, episode 12, and it's titled Congregation. The last one, that was such a tense episode, uh, as we've said, no other way to describe it. A lot happened. Um, we had a character that we were a bit iffy on at first, but it seems like he really turned it around and did something pretty amazing there in the end and opened up the behemoth uh, to everybody who is injured in this um, catastrophe that they're all involved in, kind of. And then we got, well, we didn't get a lot of answers <laughs> as to what's going on with uh, the vision that Holden saw. Um, and I know that you really want some answers, so let's hope that this one and the last one, because we're watching episode 12 and 13 together, that they're going to give us some answers at least. Um, but we're just expecting one hell of a finale for this season. And it's just been, it's been such a ride this season. This is one of the best te seasons of television I've ever seen, I think. Um, and once again, this show is so damn underrated. I really hope a lot more people are going to start watching it now that it's on uh, Amazon and... Um, someone mentioned in the comments that they've already, they're already done with season five and starting post-production. So there, that's one, that one's gonna be out, um, by the end of the year, maybe. So exciting stuff. Do you have anything you want to get into before we, uh, start this one? No, nope. fair enough. Uh, just a quick thing. Our upstairs neighbors, we don't know what's going on, if they're moving or just moving things around, but if there are loud noises like like, like bumps or something, um, it's just upstairs and yeah, don't Apparently know Apparently they're running a marathon. Doing something, yes. Uh, and you can, of course, always check out our full length reactions to the, not the boys, sorry, wrong show, The Expanse and all the other shows that we are doing um, as well. The link is down in the description below. Oh, well, let's do this. Whoa. In a perfect fucking circle. Endocrine enhancement plans. How can you live with that? I've killed better people than Telly Fagan. Hmm. I've known people like her. Keeping her around is not gonna work. Nope. Take her to the Thomas Pens. They could lock her up. It'd be easy if I put her down. No. No. You're not gonna. You're not gonna shoot her. I was planning to. Well, what if I override the auto doc to do an overdose? It'll be painless. No. Gotcha. It's Doctor the Behemoth. If Holden is on that skiff, oh. he might be with your old friends now. To any ships in need. You're injured or welcome under behemoth. Yeah, I thought Gummo was running this. Yeah. Oh, she was. Oh, shh. Is Naomi gonna trust Ashford? Nope. Naomi, wait. No, no. Hold the fort till we get back. Yeah, no. Whole team, then. Yes, team. don't leave Alex with that psycho bitch in the medical bay. No. Seriously. Don't trust her. But then they're gonna have to bring her as well. Because they can't just leave her on the Rossi. In case we need to know what happened on that station. I'm not saying another goddamn word until I know my crew is okay. Let's hope this is one of the the good Martian um, leaders, captains. Oh, and uh, hey, James Holden, in the flesh. It'll all sound insane. I am not here to judge you. I think you can trust this guy, Holden. I really hope. Mm hmm Something killed them. They tried to stop it. Burned whole solar systems like they were cauterizing a wound. We need to get out of this place and never come back. That man Whoa. is seeing ghosts. He's insane. Whatever this place is, I think he's somehow in contact with it. Will he help us escape? I believe he would if he could. Yes. But this thing has its own agenda and it's not on our side. I don't think it's safe to assume that Holden is either. Fuck. In this fucked up alien place, we're all on the same side. Stand down. Yeah. Harari, put that gear in storage. Yes, sir. Okay, Ashford. Nice suit. Uh, I don't know now. I don't... Mm. Ugh. 
her leg and you her need to be in a medical coma pelvis it'll help the healing busted. process yeah regrowing a spinal cord is a delicate procedure even in oh. the best circumstances she is not good at being injured and useless what's she doing what are you thinking though <laughs> Do you think they do the same for us? I'm not turning anyone away. We run out of synthetic blood for our goal. Report to medical units for mandatory blood donation. We go. You not have to do it. I bleed as well as anyone. <laughs> <laughs> we hold out your weapon when you on board. Well, that's not gonna happen. This <laughs> is the rule. So? Amos. So? Please? When you come in with me, you deserve Okay, I'm gonna need that gun back. <laughs> I was expecting this. She saved my life, and I saved hers. You were expecting mutiny. <laughs> Where's Holden? Our problems with the grid have persisted. And, uh, one of these times it's going to go down. And whenever that happens, everyone on this ship will asphyxiate in the dark, and that includes your crew. That is, uh, yeah, probably the right way to do things, or the right priority right now, is making sure at least everybody can survive. Mm -hmm. She's still gonna be a problem. Yep. So very much. Oh, hey. Oh, I'm Jim, what are you in for? Wanting to kill you? <laughs> Maybe she's gonna learn that he's a nice guy. But putting those two next to each other, fucking hell. <clears throat> oh, they fixed it. Or they at least did what they said they would. Even not strong enough, not getting through the distortion. Hmm. But it went through, right? It just wasn't strong enough. But it looked like it went through. Or it just hit the right. I don't know. Yeah. Inus and Belt are side by side helping each other. All it took was everybody about to die. That'll do it. That anyone with engineering experience contact wow, his wow, staff wow. to help with the power problems. That you? That's a good idea. He just doesn't like her. Mm-hmm. But he's intrigued about Anna. Mm-hmm. Clearly. He is drawn to good people. Mm -hmm. So. Why do you do it? Oh, because it needs to be done. I think that's what most of my life is. Mine too. <laughs> She's making fucking legs for herself? Wow. Ingenuity. Well, you never saw anyone who got hurt before. Mm. How are you? Back aches pretty bad right down to the spot where I can't feel anything at all. Mm. I'm so sorry, I don't. Holden is here. And I thought you'd come to check on me. Don't do that. Of course I did. I'm glad you're back. Mm. I think he can help get us out of this. I don't know. I hope so. I want to send a skiff between us and the station with a nuclear warhead or overloaded reactor. Would that help to free us? Honestly, I don't know. The data we get would tell us more about the field that's trapping us here. At least it's a start. We'll locate something you can use. Thank you. Taking a hell of a risk. Well, I would say the situation calls for it. <laughs> Just spinning the drum was a risk. You know he's dead, right? I do. He has so still trying much to empathy. No. Just taking a moment with him. I'll bring you some food. He wants to care for her. You know. Mm. Who did I put in charge of security for emergency supplies? Me, boss man. Yeah. Have any supplies gone missing? Oh, I don't. Are there missing supplies? Oh, no. Well, then who the fucking would? Yeah. Everything we do here is to buy one more chance to live, one more breath. So do your fucking job, or I will space you myself. I try to care about everyone. It's exhausting. <laughs> When Amos offered to, to kill you, I wanted to let him. I think, well, she's clearly a damaged 
person, but then who isn't? So I'm I'm down to maybe she has a brain tumor. <laughs> <laughs> Are you asking for my forgiveness? No. <laughs> You're a coward. You should have let him kill me. I'm gonna get the easy way out. Yeah, that would have been the easy way. Trying to care for everybody is very fucking hard. Mm -hmm. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. That's not being weak at all. They're trying this thing out. You're almost in position. Good. Fucked up to get fly like garbage scout. <laughs> Whoa. Contain the explosion. explosion, yeah. God. That definitely did something. Oh, something's something's going on in the nucleus. Mm. Hey, she's walking. Captain. Egan. Good to see you on your feet. <laughs> Good to see you again too. feel so lost. They let me call the Rossi, no one answered. Oh. I got the boys off the ship, everyone's okay. Yeah, he didn't even know, he's yeah, just he been... Oh, I was afraid I got you all killed. Yeah. I'm just happy you're here. I never should have left. No, you shouldn't. <laughs> you can ask me how to fix all this, I'm completely fucking lost. <laughs> boys said you were talking to Miller. I have to figure out what it wants. I'm the only one who can. This is going to destroy you. It doesn't matter. I have to fix it. Yeah, he sounds like a total narcissistic asshole, huh, Melba? <laughs> <laughs> huh? Sorry, Clarissa. The station is now generating magnetic pulses like a like a rail gun charging up only on a massive scale. The pulses are focused toward the ring gate. Oh shh. Solar systems like they were trying to cauterize a wound. What was that? Uh, nothing, just something a madman told me <laughs> once. Do we know how long this will last? So he did believe him. I estimate less than seven hours before it becomes a continuous signal. Whatever's gonna happen, it will happen then. They don't have seven hours. They can't. So that's the official report. The skiff detonation was intentional, part of some science. Project. What happened to her eye? The change in. Oh yeah, yeah, she yeah, maybe got injured as well. Magnetic activity coming from the station is increasing and seems to be affecting the ring gate as well. This is Monica Stewart on the Behemoth. What do you think that means? I have no idea. We kicked it to Hornet's nest and now we know for sure that there are hornets inside. I believe we became the threat. And not just our ships, but everyone, all humanity, on both sides of the ring. Close that the ring is our only way home. It'll take months for a skip to ferry bombs up there. When you go outside, you still see, right? Photons still travel at the speed of light in here. The behemoth's comm laser is the most powerful ever built, and use it to slice through the ring and destroy it, and cut the station off from our home. Will have saved the human race. Holy shit. Not a bad way to die. Damn, Ashford. Oh, fucking chills. Well, he's not wrong though. No, 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 not at all. That's that's what I mean. That's but just Yeah. It just keeps on surprising me. Because <laughs> um yeah, he's, he's pretty damn smart. And not even Holden could see um, the correlation between what uh, what happened what in his vision and then what the station is doing now with powering up. But mm. Ashford, he just he connected the dots immediately. Yeah, but of course he had help to connect the dots. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just with... The, he had the information that Holden told him mm -hmm. and then uh, the information about... Um, uh, the the, the, the state the state the station powering up yeah, yeah um but that's also what the um, they said in that uh news report 
so Holden he saw that the station is powering up and then Naomi asked him like what does this does this mean and he was like I have no fucking idea what this mm. means but Ashford he had pretty much the same information and he connected the dots so he's um pretty damn smart and and yeah. and his solution here is a really good one cuz what is more important yeah saving the get like the solar system and the human race or just the people in here definitely everybody else yeah but it it is a very hard fucking decision of course oh and they're going to have to uh, not everybody's going to be willing to make that decision no but he's in charge of the behemoth at least right now even though drummer is up and about and people are still calling her captain so maybe it's a bit of a split position <laughs> yeah don't know don't know um yeah i i just want to watch the next one <laughs> immediately pretty much because i just want to know what what's what's gonna happen but they uh uh the rashi crew they got off the rashi and uh yeah. made their way to the behemoth um brought Clar clarissa along and she got locked up next to holden which was a bit of a oh damn situation but right yeah. now it's actually proving to be maybe a good thing because it seemed like when she was listening to holden and naomi talk and and we mentioned like we commented on it as well like he doesn't seem like a narcissistic asshole no like, if you he, listen he, to him exactly he seems so um i don't even know the 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 english word but he seems like he wanted to make that sacrifice for himself hmm. he just wanted to fix this and he was he felt like he was the only one who could actually fix it and it was on him and, yeah, yeah and and he took all the blame and even though uh, i think naomi made a pretty clear point that of course it's not your fault none of it none of this is your fault no, no, no. And he was still like, I, I think so. I, I feel as it's my fault. I, I have a lot of guilt. I, yeah. I don't, I didn't want mean any thing of any of this to happen. Of course not. And he was only trying to help. And that's I'm, I'm totally on Naomi's side as well because he, he was really only trying to do good. Uh, yeah. And even you know the, the the nucleus was communicating with him um through the vision of uh of, of Mila and and they were co like trying to work together mm -hmm. they needed his help for something but what then fucked up the whole thing that was not him doing anything that was the no, martians exactly. attacking yeah. that was what that was what did it so it was basically you know if you want to blame one single person for the situation they're in like right now with them being stuck and a lot of people mm -hmm. dying then it was that Martian dude who then died immediately um, after, but... Perhaps it was even Gunny, because she fired upon him first. Yeah, she did, but it it didn't really do anything before he... That, that guy he threw yeah, the, yeah. The, the hand grenade. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, but yeah, you're right. Maybe it was gearing up to do something um, when, when Gunny fired. So yeah, the blame is more on, on that Martian team. Um, if you do have to blame anybody... It, and I don't think you'd absolutely have to. <laughs> um, but yes, that's a tense situation once again on that ship. Uh, with now someone stealing supplies and maybe there's some distrust. Um, yeah, that's yeah. not good, at least. No, 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 that's... that's. But then yeah. um, Diogo got his... Uh... As handed right, to him, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> by Ashford. I'm like, do your fucking job, people. Yeah, that that was. He so even good. looked at him like. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking to you. Fucking space you myself. Yeah, if you exactly. Can't do your job, like who? Like I put you in charge of this. So if you can't tell me what's going on, then who the fuck is going to tell me? Because mm, he's really running my nerves. Yeah, yeah Diogo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's been a. I, I was kind of. When we first met him all the way back in season one, yeah, when he got spaced by his uncle and then he got saved and he was with Miller and everything. And he was more of a, he's a little bit annoying, but he was more in an innocent way that he was mm. just, you know, young and, and kind of, um, you know, yeah. Now he's just stupid and entitled and Exactly, annoying. just making stupid decisions and threatening people. And yeah, I don't know. He's just making an ass of himself yeah <laughs> um 
And then we got Anna and uh, Amos kind of connecting there. That was there. really interesting. Because you could see immediately, like, when at first, like, because he wanted to, of course, Shoot off her. Clarissa. Yeah, yeah. And then with Anna, when Anna reacted the way she did, it might have, like, totally caught him off guard. He was like, whoa, this is, like, a level of empathy i haven't even encountered yet oh, like morality yeah like who who is this person like she's i'm intrigued by her and <laughs> and then uh he just kept on like trying to approach her and talk mm. to her and be like like why are you doing this stuff and it doesn't seem like he's trying to challenge her on her no, beliefs no, 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 or no, anything no. he's just curious and he's like but he, you know he's dead right like why are you sitting with him and then she explained it and he was just like oh and Huh. Exa- I'll get and some food for you then. Exactly, <laughs> and 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 in the next um, scene, the next we cut to the next scene, and we actually learn learn a little bit more about Anna, and she she's saying to Clarissa that she just wants to um, believe in the best of people, and she just wants you know to uh, believe that there's some good in everyone, and yeah. look her in the eye and believe there is a person there, and exactly. that is not. Um, of course, you can have bad parents and that can really fuck you up. And mm. you can also just be fucked up on your own. Or Yeah, she's trying to rationalize what what's wrong with you. Like, yeah. and, and just arriving at maybe it's a fucking brain tumor. Like, I can't understand why you would do so, all, all these horrible things. Yeah. All things, uh, all of this stuff considered. It's just, I just can't understand it. And I've never felt this way about anyone else. Exactly. It's just, and... I almost wanted aimless to kill you and that's not me like yeah, she exactly. was so surprised by the way of like she felt about clarissa herself yeah. and that was a really strong scene definitely and <clears throat> also just with her almost i, I think it, it felt like she admitted when uh clarissa went you're a coward and you yeah perhaps that's and yeah because because of course if if you want to be sure that because when she felt that she is not a uh when she felt that she wanted revenge Mm. um she also felt like a change in herself that she was not probably comfortable with yeah and that's why she was like we're not doing this for her we're doing this for us Mm. for me at least like she wanted to feel good about what she did Mm. and um yeah, she completely got that challenge, that feeling. I think that was yeah. Oh uh, yeah, it was a very a real, very powerful, very powerful scene, and 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 just the notion of you know, um, choosing not to kill someone, not to act on vengeance and anger and stuff like that. That is, I would always argue that is not a weakness. That is not a weak thing to do. No, no. Fighting those urges and trying to do actually the hard thing by. Um, yeah, making the right decision. That like that's that's not yeah. That's way harder than than just giving in and just uh, being uh, just yeah acting on hate and yeah and all of that shit. Um, so yeah, and I was wondering how Anna, you know, made it to the Rosinante, just in terms of how did she know how to you know, maneuver her way in in a back suit and with a jetpack or whatever it is but it seems like that's not really an issue just moving around between the ships because a lot of people are doing it and mm. even when the whole crew on the Rossi went to the behemoth they didn't show it and it just they just kind of did it so it's not really it doesn't seem like it's a big problem doing that they, everybody can maneuver their way to a ship and uh yeah Clarissa did the same as well in the last episode um yeah and then we got it confirmed that drama survived, thankfully. And uh, she um, is having a real hard time being injured, as we've known from before. Like, she just has a tendency to just power through it. And that's what she wanted to do with this as well. And came up with a solution with some uh, robotic legs and got a little help from Naomi. So uh, she's up and up and about again, which is nice. It's good to have her around again. They talked about growing a spinal cord. I think that was amazing. If you can actually uh... regrow something like that, like inner, um, but yeah, we don't know the extent of like how far the medical uh, treatment uh, 
how, seems, how far we've come. It's, it seems pretty advanced at this point, and I think if, if we could ever get something like that um, in the future, it would be amazing. Amazing, yeah. And just I think to, a yeah. lot of people are actually working on that and looking into like uh, neuronal uh, regrowth and yeah, uh, just um, yeah, with synaptic density as well. I know that my um, department department where I wrote my. Uh, Master thesis are working a lot with like the synaptic density, and they're working a lot with that and trying to find uh, markers, traces for that, and mm-hmm. look into uh, how um, like neurons um, and synapses they 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 disappear or reappear or yeah uh, develop or yeah. Yeah. regrow or something yeah it's very interesting yeah very interesting stuff yeah and it's uh yeah could be cool if if we get to see something like that in, in the near future where we're able to do stuff like they are on on the show i think it was very interesting and i think it was very nice as well um uh, when you can see when naomi went uh to talk with drama that it's like this there's a shift in the way that naomi speaks she gets more belter Mm, yeah yeah I and that it's as well. uh, yeah exactly it's uh it's um you you notice it it's, even though it's a subtle change maybe uh you you actually notice it um and i just of course if you are used to speaking in a certain dialect or certain mm. accent uh from wh- where you come from and then you uh go somewhere else and you speak the more proper common way yeah i don't know yeah yeah um me as a i'm i also have a bit of a dialect uh in danish and i just instantly saw myself in that moment where (laughs) if i ever go across the bridge i just switch in dialect completely and it's completely uh, unconscious Mm. and i just think it's it's like this tiny detail with how she just turned up the belter I just thought it was very well done um, and it was very relatable because uh, especially if you know this yourself. Um, I just think it was also very well acted somehow. Like It's like one of those small details when you actually notice it and you like that's how it is in real life. And I, I, I don't know, I just, I'm a sucker for like... Uh, Little details like that. Yeah, like yeah. A, a, the, the eye for detail in this whole uh series yeah definitely there's there's some something for for everyone to notice because uh, yeah i noticed as well i just didn't put as much into it as, as you obviously did because you can relate to it more uh because of where you're from in in, in denmark and, and and i'm just from copenhagen and i've pretty much been in copenhagen all my life and so you talk I've, the same way and I've always... i talk the same way no matter where i am so it's uh yeah i, I it didn't hit me the same way but uh mm. but it, yeah but I think that's going to do it for our reaction and review of The Expanse Season 3, Episode 12, Congregation. Um, and yeah, the title there, it's just they all congregated, it all came together. Um, and they're all coming together, the Belters and the Inners uh, working together. So yeah, I, I think that's what the title refers to. If not, tell us in the comments. And now we only have one episode left of Season 3. And we're going to be watching it tonight as well. So just uh, in, a, in a minute or two. And we, we can't wait to finish the season. But thank you guys so much for watching as always. And we will see you very soon. Bye. Bye.